is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today we have another episode of the RTG. We have another Fit Champs Live game for you guys. Today we are going to be using this team on the screen right here. Um, yeah, it's decent. I'm not really enjoying it too much. I'm not going to lie. I, I Boateng and Alaba aren't really very good for me. I don't like them. I'm going to be selling them as soon as this weekend league does end. I don't like versus Alco that much either. I think I need to put a chem style on him and try him out again. I'm not the biggest fan of him. Farman is amazing though. Farman is my favorite goalkeeper in this game. But of course, I can't really use him unless I have two icon center backs. Basically, our topic for this video is going to be the best center back in FIFA 18. I want to know, in your opinion, who is the best center back in FIFA 18. That's what we're going to be talking about through this whole video. This is the team we're going to be going into the game with. And right now, I'm using Rykard and Eric Bai as the two center backs. Uh, we're just going to go into an away game. I really don't care. We're probably going to go into a game with... Okay, just quit. That's fine. We're probably going to go into a game with like a guy that's like amazing at this game. And I'm just going to get destroyed. But... Yeah, so let's let's get into the topic. So, I said best center back in the game. I want to know who you guys think is the best center back in the game. I've played with a bunch. I've played mostly with Premier League ones. Um, I've tried out a couple ones from other leagues. That team is actually very, very good. We're playing against Crazy CFG, F FIFA FC. Very strong midfield, very strong attack. I think Sané and Son will be definitely very containable, but we are going to pause it as soon as the game does start. Um, he has Boateng. No, he has Killini and Eric Bailly as his two center backs. Uh, so we're going to switch to a 4-1-2-1-2. Uh, instead of a 4-2-3-1 that we usually do, put Bale at Cam, Griezmann there. And keep it like that. Normally, I would put Griezmann at Cam, but I've been enjoying Bale there a bit more. Keep the center mids just how they are. And I don't put Rui Costa at right center mid. Excuse me. I just ate um, because uh, I just, I don't know. For some reason, he just doesn't work there. Wow, I just ate. Okay, yeah, I, I just ate. I ran up the stairs. Make this video real quick because the Grammys are actually on right now. So let me know if you guys are actually watching those. Um, if you are from the U.S., I guess, because, I mean, I'm from... I know a lot of my viewers, or most of my viewers, are actually from the US, uh, U.K., which is actually kind of cool. Uh, that's a goal, isn't it? Fudge, dude. God. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, thank you, De Gea. I love you very much. De Gea, by the way, is actually... Pretty decent. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of him. He's okay, but I feel like a, a bunch of the goals I just expect too much from him. When it's just, you know, goalkeeper, and I really can't expect him to save every single thing. But Farman, in my opinion, is still better than De Gea. I think Farman is insane. Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, I'm rocking Rykard and Eric Bailly right now. Let me know who you guys think is the best. Anyone in the game. Just comment down anyone in the game. If you think Rio Ferdinand is the best then tell me which version of Rio Ferdinand you like the best. And don't tell me, like, okay, I think um, Maldini, 90, 92 Maldini is the best center back in the game when you haven't tried him. I want to know the uh, guys that you guys have tried. I've tried uh, uh, Footmas Van Dyke and Eric Bai as the center back duo, and I really enjoy them. The only problem is that when you have that team, or when you have those two players at center back, it's kind of impossible to... Put a left back from the Premier League that's meta enough to um, hold his own in foot champs. Wow, I didn't even want to do that. Rui Costa just destroyed him. Uh, that's meta enough to play in foot champs. That was to Griezmann. Um, so, yeah, I think there's going to be a second in for Marcos Alonso maybe coming in tomorrow. Hopefully that does um, count for the thing because usually EA don't count FA Cup um, towards the team of the week but hopefully they do because M Marcos Alonso would get a second in form and I would really want that card I would use it um, but yeah there's it, it, the thing is when I use Eric Bai and Van Dyke, I really like them together but when I use Rykard and Boateng I hate them together they're so they just don't complement each other and in my opinion Rykard is Rykard is decent okay I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna say He's amazing um, because I don't want to be like I expect a bunch from him because like I, I kind of do, but at the same time I don't. Um, but Rykard just does the job that everyone else did, and I don't find him amazing. I'm not like, okay, thank God Rykard was there. I'm not like, okay, think if I didn't spend 700 on Rykard and I had still the Virgil van Dyke in my club, I know that Rykard would get it and uh, Van Dyke wouldn't. It's not that. And that's what I want in when I'm spending 700k on a center back. Um, 
which is kind of what I, how I said how I want. So that's why I was thinking of getting Rio because Rio's more meta um, than Rikard in my opinion. I know everyone just uses the 90 Rio because that's the best one. I can't afford the 90 Rio, or I, I can, but oh my. It's an annoying goal to concede. He literally takes the ball because it's Bakayoko, and then he literally scores a left-footed finish shot with Bakayoko from two yards out. Okay, let's just go get another goal. This guy's not that great. Um, I know he just scored, but we, we, I'm pretty sure we'll still be able to break him down pretty easily. Here we go. Let's just get a goal real quick. Okay, don't do the skill move, Bale. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I know I can afford Laurent Blanc. Laurent Blanc is like, what, 700, 800K? I think he's 800k, uh, uh, excuse me, oh my god, 800k, I, I know Laurent Blanc is decent, I don't know how, how much I want to try him out though, I could go ahead and try out as well, um, I could go ahead and try out, who was it, uh, Desai at uh, center back, because that would be a great purchase in my opinion, he looks very, very good, he has, what, 84 pace, you missed that, okay, he has like 84 pace I believe, so this IE wouldn't be a bad purchase. Um, so basically what I'm trying to say here is I just want a replacement for Rykard and I want a replacement that will feel like a replacement and upgrade above Rykard because Rykard just doesn't feel amazing and I feel like if I had, he, he just doesn't contribute enough to the team. I saw Skills' video um, on uh, Team of the Year Conte where he bought, oh my god, where he bought Team of the Year Conte and he literally just sold him the day after. I needed a cough. Um, where he just sold him the day after, and he said that he 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 thought N'Golo Kante was amazing, but he didn't feel that big of a difference. He feel like he didn't impact the team so much to the point where he was like, okay, this guy has to stay in the team, which is why he went and go went ahead and sold uh, sold Kante. And I think that's something I'm going to do with Rykard. I don't see him like being this incredible player which i need to keep in the uh, in my team for the rest of the year he's gonna catch up to me he i know that he is watch um oh wow he he doesn't score that that's annoying um but yeah i think right is gonna have to go as soon as i finish my weekend league games he's just not the player uh to be in it be in my defense i thought he was gonna be a guy who who literally helps me keep keep clean sheets and I feel like I already conceded enough goals to the point where I thought he was gonna uh, save me sometimes, and I know a lot of a lot of FIFA's user error, but when you think about it, a lot of it is AI as well. That should be my my ball. There we go. Wait, what? Okay. Oh no. Oh shoot. This is bad. There we go. But yeah, I, I'm not I'm not really enjoying Rykard too much. He's all right. I would rather just use Van Dyke and uh, Eric Bai and just be like, okay. This is what there's. This is how good I know they are, and basically I. Oh wow, it's a free kick. Okay, I'm gonna actually take this with Gareth Bale. Or actually, Gareth Bale or Rui Costa. Whoever puts it, whoever they put it on, we put it over Rui Costa. Top bins. Oh, oh, oh! It's a nice shot. It's a very, very nice shot. Matter of fact. Uh, but yeah, I don't know who to buy. Let me know who you guys think. So I've tried out Chiellini as well. I tried him out at the beginning of the year when I wasn't very good at FIFA 18. Uh, and I didn't enjoy Chiellini. Um, I had him strong league with Alexandro. Um, I don't know who else. I think it was Buffon or something. Wasn't the biggest fan. But that was before. You know, I I'm willing to try out a player again. Wow, no, dude. Okay, thank you. I'm willing to try out a player again because I've tried I tried out Bakayoko, I remember, a long time ago. I hated him, and now I love Bakayoko. I, he has to be in my team because he's just that guy. He's just that cheap um, CDM guy that you need, that big, big, bulky midfielder that you need, you know? And I feel like he's so easy to link, Premier League, French, you know, all that good stuff. So I don't know who to buy. I do not know who to buy. So I think what we're going to do is, depending if Marcos Alonso does get an inform, which the thing is, I don't think that's a goal, uh, which I don't think he will, it depends what we're going to do with the team. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure how many coins I'm going to have after this weekend league. Before the next weekend league, I should be around 1.5 million, which is great. If I sell everything, which I will go ahead and sell everything because everything, I'm not really enjoying this team. And basically everything that I have went into this team. Griezmann is great. Griezmann is great, but his three-star weak foot limits the versatility of the team so so hugely and that's not something i i want 
and not something that I'm going to enjoy, um, which is why I think I'm going to get rid of Griezmann. Even though his uh, his goal scoring record is, is fantastic, and I think he's really easy to link, especially since I have Gareth Bale, Rui Costa, um, since I have Martial, since I have Bakayoko, Conte, all that, all those players, I'm not really enjoying Conte and Golo Conte anymore as well. I think. The, the thing is with N'Golo Conte, I think he's doing his job, he's doing very well, but he's just not up to par with everyone else that I'm coming up against, and there's something lacking in this team, and I'm not sure what it is, you know, I'm not sure what it is, I know the uh, Alaba Boateng side was a big problem for me, which is why I was conceding so many goals, something just about those two players just doesn't fit my play style, and I really don't like playing with them, which is why I don't think Boateng is very good for me, at least, you know? I don't see many pro players using Boateng, because obviously most of them have Maldini, Ferdinand, all those players. Um, but to be completely honest, I just don't enjoy Boateng. I just don't enjoy Boateng. I was going to try out Socrates as well, um, but I just didn't think I was going to enjoy Socrates, so I didn't. Uh, a lot of people think Manalas is very good, Koulibaly, all those players. But I think what I'm going to go ahead and try out is... Um, somewhere along the lines of another icon, or if I don't want to play with another icon, because, excuse me, um, the prices are just going to probably stay stay the same. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. Right, there, there we go. Right card, there we go. That is where you go, go ahead and see right card actually doing very well there. Um, getting back, hitting that interception, and doing what an icon should be doing, you know? Oh, everybody get off me. Should be a goal. Never mind. Very... Very difficult angle to score from. We should be able to hold this lead. Shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, this guy hasn't really created too many chances. He's subbed on Perez. He's going to, yep, lose the ball right there. Very good. This is, I need to, I need to get it wide. Okay, that's, that's as wide as we're going to get. Play back to Gareth. Oh, that's a foul, ref. It's a goal. Here we go. I, I knew that was a goal as soon as N'Golo Conte got the ball. I saw Martial was going to be open. I knew Martial was going to be open. Just That's just how when you play this game enough, you know that when in a situation like that, Martial is just going to be open. Alexander is going to be out wide or inside, and then Martial is going to be wide, and you're just going to be able to slot it in, you know? I think, by the way, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy Son back one weekend before I buy Cristiano because I love Son in this game so much. He, to me, is probably the best player I have used this year apart from I th there was another player but I don't remember who it was I, I think Son is better than Gareth I the thing is I know Gareth is in a lot of pro players teams and I think the, the reason is um, just because he's easy to get a strong link with uh, Cristiano and other La Liga players who are also meta and I enjoy Gareth. I think he's an amazing player. One of the better players I have used this year. One of the best players, but not the best. I think 86 Son was the best one I've used. 87 Son, I didn't enjoy too much. Please don't lag out. Please don't lag out. Please don't lag out. Please don't lag out. Thank you. All right, there we go. Watch me concede here. Oh, what? EA, please. Thank you. Um, I, by the way, this weekend league during, not this weekend league, this weekend during the uh, FUD Champ E-World Cup, as they like to call it, the, the proper term, where the 16-year-old um, actually won, a, won the tournament, um, I saw a lot of people using Versalco, oh man, uh, what a tackle, Versalco, um, Aurier, not Aurier? Uh, Versalco and Walker. Walker was a very big one. I know Valencia is the most popular one, which is why I'm not mentioning him. But I know that um, Versalco was literally like the, the dark horse, the hidden gem uh, that a lot of players were using. Um, I saw a lot of people using Walker, and I think I'm going to give Walker another shot. I tried out Walker as my first ever right back um, after I had Orior for a while when Walker was still 40,000 coins. And I thought Walker was great back then. And then I upgraded to Valencia. And I was like, wow, Valencia is amazing. And then I got rid of Valencia because he was like 40,000 before the market crash happened. Then I got Aurier. I love Aurier. Then I went back to Valencia. I didn't like Valencia. I went back to Walker. I didn't like Walker. And it's just been shambles. So the thing is, I'm just trying to work out my defense because defense right now is my problem. In my opinion, I, I have the skill and the 
uh, the intelligence, I, I, I want to say, without sounding too... Oh, oh, what a ball. Without sounding too cocky, um, to create plays, like there. I do great plays, score goals, all that stuff, but I just don't have the ability or I'm not as good as others at defending and closing out games and stuff like that. I can see way too many goals. So I think this will be the end of the video. If this guy, yeah, there we go. So guys, this will be the end of the video. Let me know who's your favorite center back or your favorite defense in FIFA right now. Just let me know in the comment section down below. Any uh, any player except Rijkaard. I like Rijkaard, but I could just do the same thing with uh, Virgil van Dijk if I really wanted to. So, guys, this will be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We'll have Team of the Week predictions out for you guys tomorrow. See you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.